let's look at the accounting equation from a slightly different perspective. We do know that assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And we do know we can rearrange this equation by deducting liabilities from both sides. So that we get these two liabilities to cancel out. Assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. Or if we write that the other way around, owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities. And to many of us, this makes a lot more sense. So this tells us what our owner's equity is made up of. It's made up of what we own, our assets, less what we owe, our liabilities. Now, there's one other important thing to know about owner's equity, and that's how it came about. So this tells us what it's made up of, and another part of it tells us how it comes about. And that's a another part of the accounting equation. And so in owner's equity, when we talk about uh, assets uh, equals liabilities plus owner's equity, when we're talking about owner's equity there, um, eventually we're talking about the capital account. So we have the owner's equity capital account. So here's an important thing about owner's equity and the capital account. We'll go owner's equity, closing balance, equals the opening balance, owner's equity, OB, so what we've got at the start. So how does it move through the year? Plus any capital introduced. Yep, it makes sense. If the owner's put money in, minus any drawings or capital withdrawn. So any money they take out, that makes sense. Plus any profit. And how do we, or minus any loss. How do we work out our profit? It's plus revenue minus expenses. So our closing balance of owner's equity is the opening balance plus capital introduced minus drawings plus revenue minus expenses. And this is how it came about. Now, these also align with our financial statements. Owner's equity equals assets minus liability is equivalent to a balance sheet. The revenue minus expenses part, let's have a look at that. Revenue minus expenses is the income statement. And that's uh, more commonly known as the profit and loss statement. And when we put that together, this whole bit here where revenue and expenses is expressed as um, just profit, um, that is the changes of uh, owner's equity. So one other thing to bear in mind here as well is that um, owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities and owner's equity is also the opening balance plus capital introduced minus drawings plus revenue minus expenses. So that means another valuable equation we now know is assets minus liabilities also equals owner's equity opening balance, and here we're talking about the capital account, plus capital introduced, minus drawings, plus revenue, minus expenses. Now, if we know the accounting equation at this level, we know how to reorganise it. Not only can we calculate a lot about what's happening in the business, but we also know about our key financial statements, the balance sheet, the income statement, and that whole area there deals with the statement of changes in equity.